Okay, we're about to start. It's uh, almost nine o'clock. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's uh, class on Bitochoin. Actually, the title of the class is Corona and Bitochoin. Is there something we need to do? Well, first thing I guess we need to do is define Bitochoin. What's exactly Bitochoin? There's an interesting place where we can define bitochain. It's in the Torah. There's a posuk that has bitochain hidden into it. It's a posuk, a verse in the Torah, Bamidbar Perik Yud Aleph Posuk Hey, that you're the last place you think to look for bitochain. This is the posuk. The Jews are in the Midbar, they're in the desert with Moshe Rabbeinu, and they say, Zocharno es hadogo. We remember the fish that we ate in Mitzrayim for free. The cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. They're telling Moshe Rabbeinu, we remember all these things. And now we're here in Mitzrayim, out of Mitzrayim in the Midbar. And all we have is this mon, which is whatever it is. Each of these various things that they say they ate is, uh, has a definition to it. Also, it has a root to it. When they say Zohar es hadoga, doga, fish, is the same word as v'yidgu l'roiv. The doga, fish are called doga because v'yidgu l'roiv, because they multiply very much. And the other words, the same thing. Cucumbers are called kishuyim from the root kosha, koshe, kuf, shin, aleph, which means hard, that their peel is hard. Each of these words, bitselim, the word botsel actually means to peel. Because this onion is a vegetable that you peel, so it's called bitselim because it gets peeled. Avatichim, melons, has an interesting shayrash. The shayrash in Avatichim, melons, is Bez Tes Ches, Bo Toyach, or Betach, the same exact shayrash as Bitochoin, trust. Why would a melon have the same shayrash as bitochain, which means trust in Hashem. The answer is very simple. A melon is a fruit where the actual fruit is inside and the rind surrounds it and protects it. A melon is called an avatiach because it has bitochain. It has the security and the trust of being within the rind around it. And as long as that rind is whole, it stays fresh inside. So from this simple word, avatichem, you see the essence of the word bitochoin. Bitochoin is to be in a situation where you are enclosed and surrounded by the protection. And when we say we have bitochain in Hashem, what we're actually saying simply is we are under Hashem's protection, not just under, but totally engulfed and surrounded by Hashem's protection. What do we have to do? So here's what we have to do. When the Eden left Mitzrayim and they came to the Yamsuf, Right before they were at the Yamsuf, Paroi and the Mitzrayim chased them. This is, everybody knows this, we're coming up to Pesach, it should be a Simchatik in Pesach, Bezus Hashem. And when the Eden came to the Yamsuf, they were stuck. On the one side is the Red Sea, is the Yamsuf, is the water, there's no way of passing. There's desert all around them. The Egyptians, the Mitzrayim are chasing them. They are stuck. They don't know what to do. 
the Torah, the Gemara tells us, Yerushalmi, Tainus, uh, Perik Beis, Halacha Hei, that there were four groups. Each one had a different idea what to do. This is what the Gemara says. Arba Kitim Nasa Nasu Al Yam. By the Yamsuf, there were four different groups in Chal Yisrael, you know, three Jews, four opinions. But here there were four Jews, four opinions. Four opinions. What should we do? One says, let's jump into the Yam. Let's just jump into the Yamsuf. What does that mean? According to Raiv Mefarshim, most commentaries, it means there's nothing to do. We give up, we jump in, we die, whatever happens to us, we got to do some action. This is the action we're going to do. What's going to happen? We'll, we'll die, we'll go suicide, something will happen, we won't be saved, we will. There's nothing to do. We can't stay here. Better to, better to be into the yam than fall into the hands of the Egyptians. First group. Second group says, Vacha Semeris, Nachso le Mitzrayim. Let's go back to Mitzrayim. What are they saying basically? Surrender. Surrender. Into the water? That's not an idea. We'll die. We'll drown. Fight? What? Let's just surrender. Nachso le Mitzrayim. Let's go back to Mitzrayim as slaves. The third group says, Vacha Semeris, Nasi Mohem Mochama. Let's wage war with the Egyptians. It, we'll win. We'll lose. We'll be killed in the war. We'll be killed anyway. We'll try. Maybe. Ba'achas Ameris. And the final group says, Nitzavach Kenegdom. Let us cry out about the Egyptians. And the Chachamim, the Mefarshim, explain that to mean that they're saying, let's Davin. Let's cry out. Where does the Gemara get the idea that there were these four groups of people? The idea is because of how Moshe actually answers and what Moshe actually says to the people. From what Moshe says, we can see he's answering questions that were asked. Because the wording in the Torah is four different things Moshe says addressed to each one of these groups. In the Torah itself, it only says Moshe's answer. But from the answer, the question can be uh, derived. Moshe addresses each group. He says to the first group, Zu The group that said, let's jump into the sea, let's just, suicide was no point. Moshe says to them, His yatsevu, Stand and wait and see Hashem Yeshua. Don't jump in. Stand here. Don't jump in. Stand here. So their idea, Moshe, negates. The next one. And to the group that said, let's go back to Egypt. Moshe says to them, uh, the way you saw the Egyptians today, you're not going to see them again. This idea you're going back to Mitzrayim as slaves, that's not happening anymore. There's no more Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim is finished. Mitzrayim is history. Mitzrayim is in the past. Mitzrayim is baggage. Forget about Mitzrayim. You see them coming, has nothing to do with anything. The way you see them today, you're not seeing them anymore. Meaning, your suggestion of let's go back to Mitzrayim is rejected. So, so far, the first two he just rejects. Then, the third group that said, Nase imohem milchamo, let's make war with them. Amala and Moshe, so Moshe says to this group, no, no, Hashem yilachem lochem. You're not making war, Hashem will wage the war for you. Not your business. Hashem's going to make the war. In other words, no arms, no nothing, no draft, no military, rejected. And surprisingly, even the fourth group he even rejects. The group that said, let's scream 
and uh, the, the commentaries understand to mean let's scream to Hashem about the Mitzrayim, kinegdom against the Mitzrayim. Amalam Moshe, Moshe said to them, "Be'atem tacharishon, and you should be silent." Obviously, these answers are right in the Torah, and from the answers, you understand the three, the four groups, and he dressed each one of them, and even to the final group that said, "Let's daven." Moshe said, "No, no davening." Va'atem tacharishon. Basically, Moshe, each group, he said no. Why? It would seem that each group had a validity. Each group had a possibility. I mean, we see other times when Moshe said to Yeshua, let's get together a, a, a army and fight against Amalek. And we see other times when Moshe davens. And we see, you know, there's times for different kind of action. But here Moshe rejects all of them. What should they do? It's even more odd that after Moshe rejects all of them and he says to the fourth group, Atem Tacharishin, you be quiet, it says then that Moshe screamed and daven to Hashem. He just told that group not to daven and he's himself davening to Hashem. So what what should they do? And didn't he just answer himself not to daven to Hashem? The answer is really that, as we said, in normal circumstances and many times, each one of these things has its place. There's a time to daven, there's a time to surrender, there's a time to run away, there's a time to fight. There's a time for each thing. In fact, sometimes all these answers are good. Any one of them will work. Sometimes multiple things work. When Yaakov had to confront Esau, so he did. A number of things. He, he, he sent Ace of Matonois, so he was proactive. He divided the family into groups in case, and he davened also. You just have to know the sequence. But here, there seems to be nothing. Each thing is rejected. What's going on? The answer is that this is, that Moshe is really asking of the Yidin a brand new idea. The brand new idea is, in one word, bitochain. We said the definition of bitochain, you can know from the word in the Torah, avatichim, melons. The melon is inside. The rind is around it. What is the fruit inside supposed to do? Nothing. The fruit inside is supposed to remain in its place. It doesn't have to daven. It doesn't have to break away. It doesn't have to commit suicide. It doesn't have to do any action whatsoever. The fruit inside has to just know, I am an avatiach. I am a boteach. I am a trusting entity in the rind that's protecting me. This is what Moshe is telling the Eden here in Mitzrayim, here in the Yamsuf. This is different than any other place. Over here, it's pure bitochin, in, 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 integrating, internalizing, understanding that Hashem is doing everything. In Mitzrayim, when it was the Makas Bechayrais, the night of Pesach, the Eden had what to do to make matzahs and shmir the doorposts, etc. By Mamad Hasinai, the Eden had what to do. They're supposed to get ready for three days. They're supposed to stand at the foot of the mountain. They're supposed to not go up the mountain. Each place has action. Here at the foot of the Red Sea by, Mama, by, by uh, Yamsuf, Moshe's directive is your idea group one, your idea group two, your idea group three, your idea group four, great ideas. Don't do anything. Don't do anything? Yes. Bitochon means nothing. Bitochon means I'm doing nothing. Nothing. What am I doing? 
I'm under Hashem. I'm surrounded by Hashem. Hashem is doing everything. Hashem is taking care of everything. Hashem is everything. That's bitochai. Now, just in case somebody will then say, if that's the case, uh, shouldn't uh, no tzedakah, no tefillah, no gemilas chasodim, no looking for some zechus in a time of 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 of, of stress and distress. Now today's coronavirus and Mamad ha, and the Kriyas Yamsuf are not an exact perfect parallel, but for learning purposes, the parallel is there. Everybody now, what do we do? Do I go out? Do I go in? Do I go to the store? Do I not go to the store? Do I get very depressed or do I not get depressed? Should I be very happy or not happy? It's stressful. Everybody has their own things. Everybody has a different idea. Just like in Yamsuf. Yilochem, we'll fight against it. We'll give up suicide. We'll scream to Hashem, we'll daven. We'll fight it. The answer is no bitochem. Bitochem means I don't do anything. Now, as I said, lest you think, though, that I don't do anything I, means I don't do anything. Well, Moshe Rabbeinu himself, after he says to them not to daven, Hashem yilochem lochem, v'atem tacharishun, Hashem will make the war, you don't make a war, v'atem tacharishun, you don't have to daven, you don't daven, you be quiet. He himself davens. Why? Because really, vitochen means that I rely fully on Hashem. Nevertheless, I do make my heshtadlis. I do daven. I do give tzdoko, I do look for schusim, I do look for something I'm supposed to do to make myself a better yid under these kriyas yamsuf circumstances. But, really, that's not brings the Yeshua. The Yeshua is not my davening, not my tzedakah, not my gmilus chasodim, not my encouragement of somebody else, all of those being required and mitzvahs and masim toivim and the best thing at all. But the Yeshua, when it comes to bitochain, is really, all of that is just what I'm supposed to do. I'll say yid, I'll say hishtablus. But in the end, it's not what I'm doing that makes the difference. It's Hashem's chesed chinam because I have bitochain because I'm inside within Hashem's framework. And this is the highest madrega. Just to make it clear, davening, yes. Learning, yes. Tzlaka, yes. This, yes. All the eights is good. Everything, all the inyanim to, to do, beruchnius uh, and gashmius, all the things to do, physically to be safe, spiritually to be safe, all very good. But Bitochain comes to say, don't stress out about that and don't think you're falling short in anything because Bitochain says that you do your best, but really it's Hashem doing everything. The melon, the fruit inside that, that cantaloupe, that watermelon or that cantaloupe or that honeydew that's in the avatichim and the melon does nothing. It stays fresh, being surrounded by Hashem. And that's Bitochen. And it seems that Hashem himself holds that to be the biggest avoido, the biggest service, the biggest madrega, the biggest level, the highest level that a person can get to. Because the Gemara in Brachos actually says that when Hashem, uh, Hashem said after the Maraglim uh, that he's not going to take the Eden to Eretz Yisroel and he's going to destroy them here, Moshe Rabbeinu said, if you do that, then the Goyim are going to say, Mibli Yechoyles Hashem, that Hashem can't bring, has, doesn't have the ability to bring them into to Eretz Yisroel. This is by the Maraglim. And Moshe says, "Ama Moshe lefnei Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Rebbeinu Shalaylam, Achshav Yemru Ha'Oydei Koychavim, Toshach Koychay Kinekeva Ve'Ene Yochal Hatzilon." 
Now, if you're going to destroy the Jews here in the Midbar, in the desert, because they sent the spies, then everybody's going to say, you have no power to bring them in to Eretz Yisrael. Amalei HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said to Moshe, how could they say that I don't have the power? They saw already the miracles and the strength that I exhibited at the Yamsuf. They saw Kriyas Yamsuf. The Yidin saw Kriyas Yamsuf. The world saw Kriyas Yamsuf. Everybody saw Kriyas Yamsuf. The ultimate question, why does Hashem himself call Kriyas Yamsuf the ultimate? Why didn't Hashem say, everybody saw ten makais? Everybody saw Mamad Har Sinai, Koilas of Rok and Von on Kove, the great Mount Sinai experience. Why does Hashem pick as his example of my great abilities and my great miracles, Kriyas Yamsuf? We said it. Because all the other places, there was an element of the Jews are doing something. They're smearing the doorposts. They're standing ready after three days of preparation at Har Sinai. They're doing this at this place and that at the other place. By Kriyas Yamsov, they're doing nothing. They're doing no actions. They're doing something higher than all those actions. They're doing Bitochoin. Bitochoin is that I am in Hashem's shelter. And that's what's required of me. And then with title of tonight, Corona and Bitochoin, it's a title which actually goes together. In circumstances like this, yes, every one of these Ketois groups at Kriyas Yamsuf were right then and they are right now. People who say we should daven, let's scream and daven, absolutely. Let's fight the Corona by whatever the medical people say to do. Absolutely. There's various solutions, but underneath all the solutions is we do ours and give our stokka and do our davening and wash our hands 20 seconds, etc. But in the end, it's not because of that. It's only bitochoin our absolute understanding that it's kol ze men hakodesh baruchu and we bitochem means not that he does what i want necessarily but somehow it's the best under the circumstances for me and for us there are in fact though different levels of bitochem of this being in this state i quote three psukim each one is first level second level third level First level, the famous posuk, Hashem tzivokois ashrei odom b'teyach boch. Everybody knows the posuk. Adonai tzivokois ashrei odom b'teyach boch. Tehillim, hey dalid yud gimel. We'd say to Hashem, ashrei odom, fortunate as a person, b'teyach boch, that trusts in you. And the definition we said already, boiteach, means I'm completely understanding that everything is you, and it is a certain serenity in that. There's a higher level, though. David HaMelech says it in a different pasuk. In two prokim later, Perik Pei Vov, pasuk Beis, David HaMelech says, Shomra nafshi ki chosidoni, Guard my soul because I'm a righteous person. Hoisha Avdecha, save your servant. Atoy Lekai, please my Hashem. Haboiteach Elecha, that I have bitochain Elecha towards you. Different word. The previous postbook said, Ashrei Odnam Boiteach Boch, I have. Bitochoin, full trust in you. This pasuk says, Haboiteach Eilecha, I have full trust towards you. What's the difference? Says Rabbi Shemshur of Al Hirsch, Boiteach Boch would be a trust 
based on help that Hashem has given in the past, and would indicate that the person looks to no one else besides Hashem for assistance. But Teach Boch would be, I've been helped in the past, and therefore I look to no one but you for assistance. By Teach Boch. By Teach Elecha signifies, says Rav Hirsch, trust in Hashem at a time when help is still distant. I haven't seen any help. Help doesn't look like there's any help. Looks like things are getting worse, not better. And the trusting person, says Rav Hirsch, looks to Hashem in full confidence, then help will surely, surely not fail to come at the right time. Habayteyach elecha. I haven't yet seen it. It looks ominous. Situation looks not so givaldic. Baiteyach boch is not doing it for me now. The Dovid HaMelech says, Habayteyach elecha. The higher Madrego is, I haven't seen yet the Yeshua. It doesn't look like it's happening. It looks distant. Everything is confused, dark, and dismal, in, 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 in figuratively and literally. And where am I? David Amelech says, now you have to be haboiteach elecha. You don't see the rind around the fruit. You don't see the protection. It doesn't appear like things are being the way it should. No, no, Hashem is there. Habayteyach eilecha. I'm looking towards you. It requires more than Baiteyach Bach. Would appear to be that the Jews in Kriyas Yamsuf were at the level of Habayteyach Eilecha because they hadn't yet seen a Yeshua from Paroi and it looked very ominous and it didn't look like anything was going to help them. David Hamelach adds one more level. His one more level is. Well, it's not David Amalekh, just as good. It's Yemiyahu Hanovi. The Posik in Yemiyahu, Perik Yud Zion, Posik Zion, famous Posik, everybody knows it, there's even a song about it. Borach Hagever Eshi Yiftach Bashem, Vohoya Hashem Miftachoi. From Benchen, from Ovalutsiyain, really it's from Yemiyahu Hanovi. Borach Hagever Eshi Yiftach Bashem. Yemiyahu Hanovi says, Blessed Benched Borach is the person. Asher Yiftach Bashem, that has Bitochoin in Hashem. And then he adds three words. Vahoyo Hashem Miftachoi. And Hashem will be his Bitochoin. Translated, I guess, is blessed is the person who trusts in Hashem, and Hashem will be his trust. But, you know, that's Baruch Agar Yiftach Bashem. He trusts in Hashem, Hashem and Hashem will be who he trusts. Okay, it's back and forth, same thing, no? So there's different Mephoshim on it. The Malbim says that this is actually the highest level in Bitochim. The first part of the Pasuk, Baruch HaGevash Yiftach Bashem, is saying, if you have Bitochim, you're Baruch, it's a, it's a Bracha. Which kind of bitochain? Boiteach boch, boiteach elecho, a bitochain based on you see it happening, you've seen it happening, you know it, a bitochain based on that you haven't seen it, but you have the same trust nevertheless, it doesn't look like it's happening, you have the same trust anyway, but there's three extra words. What do these three words do for us? A lot of times a person has bitochain. I have full bitochain. But even with full bitochain, if it's a medical situation, I got to go to the doctor. Or Khalil Rahman al Islam, I got to call Hatsola. If it's a job situation, I got to do a resume or something. In other words, I have full bitochain in Hashem, but I have to have the shliach. I have to have the mamutza. I have to have. The thing that'll make it bederachateva, so that my bitochain has a thing to be chal on. Fine, that person is not oror chalila, but I don't know if they get quite to Yirmiyahu's level. 
Yemiyo's level says the Malbum is Baruch Hager Shah Yiftach Bashem that has full trust in Hashem, that Hashem is the end, but also Vahoyo Hashem Miftachoi, that Hashem is not only the end, but Hashem is what he has trust to actually be the means too. The means and the end. Baruch Hager Shah Yiftach Bashem, that his end game is Hashem, not through the doctor, not through the tilim even, not through the mitzvahs even, but because v'hoyo Hashem miftachoi, that Hashem is both the end and the means. Not meaning to say we shouldn't say tilim and shouldn't give tzedakah. We should, we must, we have to. Not meaning to say that a person shouldn't call the doctor a cholil or achman or uslan hatzola. We have to, we're supposed to. But with all that and all that and doing and doing and trying, in the end, Yirmiyahu says, Baruch, the real bracha is, Hageber sheyiftach b'ashem, that has this be tochein and completeness in Hashem, V'hoyo Hashem miftachai to the extent that Hashem is not only he has full trust in Hashem that Hashem is the end, but Hashem gives him the means to. I, he's calling the doctor, he's saying to him, yeah, yeah, I'm doing that, but really, it's the Rebbeinah Shalaylam. That's actually the Bitochayin. And if you get to that Bitochayin, then the other Pesach in Tillim, which says, Ki yismach libeinu, ki that Bitochayin leads the person actually to Simcha. I'd like to add that I think actually that there's a hint to this in an odd place. A different, completely different place, but a hint to this exact idea. Shabbos. Shabbos, the Aseris Adibrais has Shabbos. The Aseris Adibrais is written, as everybody knows, two times in the Torah, once in Shemais and once in Devarim. For the mitzvah, the commandment of Shabbos, in Shemais it says, Zochor es yoyim ha-Shabbos l'kadshoy. Remember Shabbos to keep it holy. In the Vorim, it says, Shomoyer es yoyim ha-Shabbos l'kadshoy, to um, safeguard the Shabbos. Okay, we all know the Chazal tell us, Zohar means you have to make Kiddush and Havdullah, Shomor means you have to be careful not to do any of the work categories on Shabbos. Very good. But it's still two words that seem to go together. And not only that, but when it comes to Lachod Doidi, we say, Shomor v'zachor b'dibur echad, hishmion o keelam yuchad. Shomor v'zachor was said together spontaneously, which a person can't do. No human being can say two words at one time. Even if you speak very, 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 very quickly, you're still saying one word at a time. Zohar v'shomor was said by Hashem together at the exact same instant, simultaneously together, which a person can't do. Why was it so necessary to say Zohar v'shomor in that spontaneous thing? Couldn't Hashem say, Rabbi Isai, Zohar v'shomor es yoyim ha-shabos l'kadashoy. Remember and safeguard the Shabbos. Why is There's no other place it says like that. Other places it talks about two concepts and it doesn't say them together. La'ahava uliyira es shemecha. We should love and fear Hashem's name. Well, Abba and Yira are said one after the other. It's not that somebody had to tell us, Abba, Yira, B'dibor Echad. Why is Zohar V'shomor B'dibor Echad? So I propose the following. Zohar, people usually translate as remember. It has a deeper translation, though. The, the source of the word Zohar is Zion Chof Resh, Zechoyer, to remember. It's very similar to the Shoyresh Sochoyer, Samach Chof Resh, and that's also similar to the Shoyresh Sogoyer, Samach Gimel Resh. All this is Rabbi Shimshon of Hirsch. Sogar, Samach Gimel Resh, means to close something. Close it, close the door. Sigoy Resadelis. Sochar, a stronger word, similar Shairesh, just a stronger word. Instead of Sogar, 
it's stronger. Sochar with a chaf, as in vayisochru mayinoyz tohoim, when Hashem closed the sources of water that made the mabol, it doesn't say that he closed them, sogar. It says sochar. He closed them by locking them down. It's the same idea. Sogar is closed. Sochar, samach chof resh, is close and lock down firmly. What exactly what sochar, samach chof resh, is in Gashmiyos in physicality, is the similar word zochoyer in spirituality. The same way sochoyer doesn't mean just close, but it means to lock something in physically, as in the waters of the Mabel. Zochoyer, as in zochor as Yom Shabbos, means to lock in the remembrance of Shabbos into your fiber and into your being with an absolute lock that it is impenetrable, if there's such a word. That's zochor. And it doesn't say zochor, meaning do it once, but zochor, meaning it's a continual process, even during the six days of the week in preparation for Shabbos. Zochor, lock in. Lock in, lock in, as you Shabbos. Okay, nice concept. What are you supposed to lock in? Okay, I'm ready. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it in. Zochoyer, as in Zochoyer. The tohoyim, the, 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 the depths of the water was locked in. It shouldn't be any more marble. I'm ready to lock in into Shabbos. What am I locking? Hashem said, what are you locking? Well, look. Zochor v'shomor b'dibur echad. Zochor v'shomor was said simultaneous by, by me. You're locking in. Zochoyer is telling you to lock in shomor. Oh, lock in Shomor? What's Shomor? Well, Shomor you usually translate as Shomor to safeguard Shabbos that it shouldn't be desecrated. But Shomor or Shomor can also mean to wait for and anticipate something. Famous, famous Pasuk by Yaakov Ovinu when Yosef had the Chaloimais, the dreams, and, and Yaakov was wary of the dreams. He's going to be the sun and the moon and the stars are bowing to him. The sheaves are bowing to his sheep. And the brothers were getting all excited and they were jealous and hateful. And the Pasuk says afterwards, Ve'oviv shomar es hadovor. His father, Yosef's father, Yaakov, shomar es hadovor. What does that mean, shomar? Safeguarded. What did he safeguard? Rashi explains, he was waiting and seeing how this is going to play out. Vyovev Shomar as a means he safeguarded it and watched it to see what's going to be here. How is this dream going to come into fruition? What's going to happen here? I don't see it yet, says Yaakov. And never he didn't see it for 22 years when he missed Yosef. I don't see it yet. I don't see it. It's way off somewhere. But Shomoyer, I'm waiting for it. I have it locked away. I have it in my mind waiting for it. This is the chat, maybe. Zochor v'shomor b'dibor echod. Zochor, lock in. Shomoyer, the idea that you don't see it yet, but you anticipate and you're waiting for it and it's going to come. I think that's the element of bitochon we're talking about here. Lock into yourself, says the Rabbi Shalom, Zohar Shomar. Zohar that you can wait, be assured, you don't see it yet, it's going to be. Lock in the concept into your head that the situation now is not going to stay where it is, Be'ezrus Hashem Afagut Neufen. That it's going to get better, that it's going to be at more. Yeshua Gedola Ki Yitzhiya Smitzrayim Mamish V'chein Yehi Rotsayim Hashem should help us that we should have this kind of bitochayim that the ups and downs should only become ups that the difficulty should pass Tzoras Rabim Chatsi Nechama everybody's going through in their own way the, the situations and the times today but based on what our understanding is of Kriyas Yamsuf Habo Aleinu that the Eden basically did everything 
Like we're doing as much as we can, but realize and internalize that bitachon means in the end I know I really just have to rely on nothing of my own and everything the Rabbeinu Shalom Zohar, I'm going to lack that Shomoyer, that idea of hamtain, of waiting for the Yeshua completely or relying on Hashem. I'll continue my Torah and mitzvahs, but I understand it's the Rabbeinu Shalom Ki vayismach libeinu Ki v'shem chodshad batochno He will make us happy with our bitochen, and we should be zoiche to Yeshua is gedoyleis, or Rafua is gedoyleis, v'simcha rabba, v'chol meshala sebeinu letoiva bitochen godol, and get out of all the Mitzrayims and all their manifestations, v'akol mikol toil, kein yehi rotsoin, with all the brachas, agotenach. Good night.